All right, the question is, is if you run a tag and it comes back with unconfirmed insurance, does that give you reasonable suspicion to stop the vehicle? All right, uh, guys, my name is Anthony Bandero, attorney and senior legal instructor, bringing another roadside chat. This time I'm at the National Interdiction Conference um, in Chicago. I want to thank all my friends at Desert Snow for allowing me the opportunity to present here and great background, right? This is an old school, 1960s Illinois State Police uh, vehicle. All right, so the little background, it's a, it's a pretty easy background. Hey, let's say you're running a vehicle late at night. It comes back with unconfirmed insurance. Is this enough reasonable suspicion to stop the vehicle, at least to see if they have the, the insurance and we kind of go from there, right? The officer also provides a case called Ricky Lynn Ellis versus the state of Texas. The answer is gonna be yes, you are going to be allowed to detain that vehicle, to make a traffic stop, to detain that vehicle, to ascertain whether or not they're complying with the law. The fact that the, the, the database is showing unconfirmed is at least a moderate chance that they're involved in a violation, right? And that's all you need in Texas to stop that vehicle is reasonable suspicion, a moderate chance. Then when you conduct a traffic stop, you conduct it in a very a, a diligent manner. You go up there, you let them know why you stopped them. You try to ascertain whether they have the, the correct paperwork and you go from there, right? If they have no license, if they're drunk, et cetera, we go from there. But the answer to your question is yes, this Ricky Lynn um, uh, uh, Ella, uh, Ellis case is a, uh, a, a good case that discusses that. There's also a case after that and that's the Glover case, right? The, the U.S. Supreme Court Glover case of Kansas where the cop ran, the, ran the, um, the plate. It came back to a driver with a warrant. There was no reason to think that the driver was not the RO, the registered owner, lit him up. And of course it was the, uh, the, the, R, the driver was the registered owner. He went to jail for no license. And he tried to say to the Supreme Court that that was not reasonable and the U.S. Supreme Court disagreed and they felt that that was a proper inference that believed that the register owner is the one driving the car. All right, I hope it helps. Keep the questions coming. If I can help you, go to bluetogold.com, reach out to us, and, uh, and so forth, all right? All right, keep up the great job you're doing out there. Get it right every time.